Unfortunately, I'm having to work under my 2001 Lincoln Navigator today. I don't know whether you've had the wonderful experience of having uh, catalytic converter thieves hit your vehicle yet, but they got mine uh, a couple of weeks ago or a week ago. Got two of them out of here. And uh, so far, I bypassed one of them just so I can get it on the road. I, I, I need to drive around and get go to different shops and get estimates on a permanent fix with new catalytic converters. But as you can see, this is the exhaust manifold coming off there. They were kind enough to leave a little bit of a nipple there. And <clears throat> fortunately, the uh, oxygen sensor was on that. So they left the oxygen sensor alone on this side. And I've ran this uh, flexible exhaust hose pipe. Uh, it's 32 inches in length, so I had to splice two together. The shop that I bought them from only had 18 inch lengths. So splice them together and I had enough exhaust flange coming off of this side tubing that I was able to splice on here. Luckily they left my oxygen sensor alone on this side. And over on the other side, I guess you can see it, they left quite a funky angle there for me to splice onto. So I got it on there. I hope it's going to work. But coming on around, as you can see, they were not so kind here. They actually unbolted this flange off the exhaust manifold on the driver's side, and they just cut my oxygen sensor wire and uh, took it with them. So took the oxygen sensor with them. So I'm going to have to go and locate a flange there and try and get that on there with enough nipple to splice on. To this pipe so uh, back to the shop see what we can come up with uh, you just gotta love tweakers just to be safe about it since I'm working on my navigator I'm, I'm uh, trying to run some pipes to replace the four catalytic converters that were stolen so that I can get it back on the road and uh, then I can go to different shops and get estimates on what it's going to take to make permanent repair and put new catalytics back in it. I just want to get it back on the road. This is a temporary fix. But uh, before I crawl under there to work, uh, I've driven it up on the uh, ramps here, the front end. And, you know, that got it high up off the ground enough that I can crawl under there and work and you can get to pretty much everything. But just to be safe, this is a very heavy vehicle. I'm on a slight heel too. I've chalked the back wheels. Uh, I did put these jack stands underneath. I've got one on each side, one in the middle. And then uh, over here, a little block of wood just for the heck of it. But I put one there and that way I can get up under here to work. And as you can see, I need a flange right there because they, on the other side, uh, of course you saw where they had cut and left a little <clears throat> nub there and it actually uh, held the oxygen sensor, the upstream oxygen sensor. In this case, they took the time, took the bolts off the nuts and uh, drop them. I didn't see them at the site or I'd have saved them. And they cut the oxygen sensor loose. There's the wire dangling there. So that gave me a problem. So I'll show you what I did. So I went to a fabrication shop and had to have one manufactured because uh, none of the parts places had a flange with a nipple coming off of it with a two and a half inch pipe. So this guy was able to put a flare in the pipe and actually was able to weld on a port for the oxygen sensor. So I'm about to try this, see if this will work. Okay, as you can see, I've replaced the flange. If you can see right up in there, there is the uh, oxygen sensor, the upstream oxygen sensor. And I've, uh, I had to do a kind of a lousy splice here because the angles didn't quite work. So I wrapped that in uh, stainless steel uh, metal, real thin wall stuff. 
couple of wraps and then I taped it, but it does not leak. And then I come on back here and uh, where they had done the uh, lousy kind of cut here, uh, I've kind of taped it up. And also I think I'm, I'm getting a little bit of leak in that joint right there, but it's such a steep angle. I think it, <coughs> and the way they cut it, I, if you remember how it looked before. So anyway, this is the best I can do with what I have right now. Um, this is gonna get me back on the road, but it's really not road worthy. Um, but I'll drive it and take it to a muffler shop and let them look at it and see, see about ordering some parts. Um, I'll do another video later. <coughs> I'm thinking about getting the aftermarket uh, lower priced catalytic converter, especially since there's four in here. This vehicle is not that valuable to begin with. And I'd hate to have uh, catalytic converters under here that cost more than the actual vehicle cost. Uh, the vehicle has 150,000 miles. I want to get several more miles out of it. Uh, so I'm going to do the right thing and, and do the final repair uh, with catalytics. Uh, there'll be one here. There'll be another catalytic here. Then uh, over here, the same configuration. There'll be a front and a back catalytic. So I'll, I'll do an upcoming video showing the process of, of ordering those and, and getting them properly installed. So uh, if you'll just uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, stay in touch and maybe you can get some good ideas for your repair. Thank you. Okay, we've, uh, I think, successfully made our temporary repair on the exhaust system on the Navigator. So let's uh, crank it up and try it out. I wish I'd have done a video of what it sounded like beforehand, but it was really ridiculously loud. So let's... Okay, <clears throat> considerably quieter. Yeah, that, that, I'll call that a success. It, it's got a one little spot that's leaking on this side. I really didn't crawl under there to check the other side, but I, it was a better repair. It was an easier repair. So I think we're good to go. And uh, appreciate you watching my video. We're going to shut her down and get her off the... Uh, stands here. Anyway, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.